hello everyone and welcome back to our oil pump design tutorials uh, we finished our missing part uh, what I wanna mention here that we started previous videos with uh, rotating our bearing with our shaft it was no problem we just as I mentioned we make a, a constraint angle constraint between the two planes on zero and we'll drive now and see if it works drive drive and here's our bearing rotating with our shaft as we can see uh, I want to mention here something we can control the speed if I give it uh, for example 3.6 and we can see it, it will go faster okay you can control how many rotation you need here and all these controls you can of course hit the record and record this motion as I showed you in the first you can switch from WMV extension to ABI extension and save it and run the uh, drive and you'll have these videos as I have them here drive video and you can play it on any player you wish let's go back cancel and we'll continue our assembly I'll place my part first bearing cap here is my bearing cap okay open I'll put it somewhere let us constrain our part insert constrain this edge with this edge on zero hit apply cancel and we'll have a mate constraint between the center axis of my hole with the center axis of this one they are all centered and I'll give it zero hit OK and everything is fine now the last thing we'll use our content center to bring our washers and bolts I'll take fasteners I'll take the den standard I'll go for washers and spring washer because we don't have it in our libraries and the ISO standard so I'll use den standard hit OK and I'll put I'll use my shift key with my wheel in order to have this hole mentioned to our threaded hole and this is the surface and we have A5 yes it's 5 we'll take as we can see we can take insert multiple and if we click it we have all our 14 washers will be inserted together ok escape and we have them here already I'll hit save I'll bring another two washers for the M3 there will be another size so I'll zoom to my threaded hole here okay there will be it gives me 2.5 I don't know why I'll hit finish now and I'll change the size later so I have to escape two washers save and I'll go back to my washers down here's my 2.5 click and right click and change size they have to give me three millimeters replace all click OK voila I have them right I'll hit save again now I'll bring my circuit head screws from my content center library 
I'll go to ISO, fasteners, bolts. Here's my socket head screw, and I'll take this one, the only one in ISO. Again, I'll point, zoom and point to my thread. It identified as three, and the upper face of the washer and hit. Okay, here's my two screws. Escape, save. Again, this is my screw. Hit OK. I'll take one of my. This is my. And here, the face. It's M5 by 8. It will be 20. We can change it either here. can go to 20 millimeters like 16 let's see 20 and hit finish escape and this is my assembly is ready we have 20 millimeters this one it takes 5 millimeters I'll change the size to 12 change size you can either change it from there or from here to 12 replace all you have m3 yes good okay save and let us check as everything is fine we'll go to view again half section I'll take this face here and go inside to see my screw is it okay or not yes it's fine it's going and we have the other okay so I'll go back in this view I'll check the others again half section view here and I'll go back to here right okay let us see no it's going down let us make it a little bit smaller so I'll hit again my 12 right click change size I'll take it 10 replace all and you'll see okay then our view is not that precise so we'll end it and take it again half section let us take it the, to the center of our bearing or center or something in order to be precise okay no yep let us see what we have here yes we have our hole okay finish let us take it back to 12 our holes wasn't seen in our sectional view so I'll get take it back to 12 replace all hit OK and everything is fine this is my first part and it's OK OK hit the home view and end this section save this way we came to end of our tutorials what I wanna make as a notice at the end if we open our we use shaft here we click open and you'll see can you see we have the grooves that we need but there's something wrong we have to take it 10 millimeters down okay uh, when we open we'll go back and open our spur gears open as we can see we have the automatically it digs or make cut on them I don't have to do it 
manually the hole and the place of the keys as we can see in shaft 1 it makes the apparel splines 2 so I'll take some changes I'll go here take shaft 1 where is shaft 1 here is shaft 1 right click edit with the no the key 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 where is our key this is my key here edit with design okay and we'll take it here automatically down where is it yes and give it 10 okay millimeters okay let's go for our calculation this is our calculation that we have here we'll put our three kilowatt 5000 rpm calculate everything is fine we don't have any errors and hit ok and I'll hit save uh, yes to all ok the same way I'll do to my key 2 I'll give edit with the design accelerator calculations I'll give it 3 kilowatt and 5000 rpm okay we can use a material we can change anything we can calculate everything is fine yes hit okay and save yes to all okay let us see our uh, shaft one yes we can see we edit the placement of our key in our shaft and everything is fine shaft 2 will be the same let us check oil pump shaft 2 where's my shaft 2 here's my shaft 2 right click click open shaft 2 is fine here in the key groove so we use the most of our inventor to create all these parts we consume time effort and it's very easy I hope you enjoy it and goodbye I may uh, make uh, some uh, tutorial videos on this oil pump to use the uh, environment and the inventor studio how to make this animations on inventor studio and maybe I'll do some uh, presentation for this how these uh, parts are uh, assembled together so goodbye for now and see you later